most insane natural phenomena in the world. It's easy to get lost in cars and offices and grocery stores and forget that there's a bigger, more beautiful world we don't always get to see. But there's stunning stuff happening every day, in some cases right outside your door. So, let's take a whirl through some of the most incredible, sometimes mind-boggling phenomenon the Earth has to offer, along with a little of the science behind them. Hello, and welcome to another video on Wildest Nature. In this video, we will be talking about 10 most insane natural phenomena in the world. Before we begin, kindly like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell icon so that you do not miss the latest video updates. So, let's get right to it. Number 10. Volcanic Lightning. Volcanic lightning is an electrical discharge caused by a volcanic eruption, rather than from an ordinary thunderstorm. Volcanic lightning arises from colliding, fragmenting particles of volcanic ash which generate static electricity within the volcanic plume, leading to the name Dirty Thunderstorm. Moist convection and ice formation also drive the eruption plume dynamics and can trigger volcanic lightning. But unlike ordinary thunderstorms, volcanic lightning can also occur before any ice crystals have formed in the ash cloud. The earliest recorded observations of volcanic lightning are from Pliny the Younger, describing the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, there was a most intense darkness rendered more appalling by the fitful gleam of torches at intervals obscured by the transient blaze of lightning. The first studies of volcanic lightning were also conducted at Mount Vesuvius by Professor Palmieri who observed the eruptions from 1858 till 1872 from the Vesuvius Observatory. Number 9. Columnar Basalt. Columnar jointing forms in lava flows, sills, dikes, ignimbrites, and shallow intrusions of all compositions. Most columns are straight with parallel sides and diameters from a few centimeters to three meters. Some columns are curved and vary in width. Columns can reach heights of 30 meters. Most columns tend to have five or six sides but have as few as three and as many as seven sides. The columns may form sets. Straight, regular columns are called colonnade. Irregular, fractures columns are called entablature. Number 8. Nacreous Clouds, Antarctic. Polar stratospheric clouds PSCs are clouds in the winter polar stratosphere at altitudes of 15 to 25,000 meters. They are best observed during civil twilight, when the sun is between 1 to 6 degrees below the horizon, as well as in winter and in more northerly latitudes. One main type of PSC is made up mostly of supercooled droplets of water and nitric acid and is implicated in the formation of ozone holes. The other main type consists only of ice crystals which are not harmful. This type of PSC is also referred to as nacreous. Number 7. Dragon Blood Tree, Yemen. The dragon blood tree is an iconic tree with a long history of commercial use. It is known only from the island of Socotra, Yemen, where it lives within remnants of prehistoric dragon's blood forest on granite mountains and limestone plateaus. The island of Socotra's 34 million year separation from mainland Arabia has given rise to a unique flora. 37% of its plant species are found nowhere else. The monsoon season brings these areas cloud, drizzle and sea mists and the dragon tree's leaves intercept this airborne moisture, channeling it towards root systems shaded by a dense, umbrella-shaped canopy. Number 6. Lenticular Clouds. Altocumulus Standing Lenticular, ACSL, or Altocumulus Standing Lenticularis Clouds, they are associated with waves in the atmosphere that develop when relatively stable, fast-moving air is forced up and over a topographic barrier that is oriented more or less perpendicular to the direction from which the upper-level wind is blowing. This deflection creates a gravity wave downwind of the topographic barrier not unlike a wave you might generate by throwing a pebble into a pond. When sufficient moisture is present above mountaintop level, a CSL clouds develop within the crest of these mountain waves where the air is rising. Number 5. Spotted Lake. Spotted Lake is a saline endoric alkali lake located northwest of Osoyoos in the eastern Similkameen Valley of British Columbia, Canada, accessed via highway. Spotted Lake is richly concentrated with various minerals. It contains dense deposits of magnesium sulfate, calcium and sodium sulfates. It also contains high concentrations of eight other minerals and lower amounts of silver and titanium. Most of the water in the lake evaporates over the summer, revealing colorful mineral deposits. Large spots on the lake appear and are colored according to the mineral composition and seasonal amount of precipitation. Number 4. Morning Glory. Morning Glory is the name given to a spectacular cloud formation that occurs in the Gulf of Carpentaria region of northeastern Australia. 
It is composed of a low roll cloud or often a succession of roll clouds, sometimes stretching from horizon to horizon. The clouds are seen early in the morning, most frequently towards the end of the late dry season from early September to about mid-November. They are typically one or two kilometer in width, one kilometer deep, and maybe one hundreds of kilometers long, with cloud bases often ranging between 100 to 200 meters high. Occasionally they are preceded over land by a shallow layer of fog that they rapidly disperse. Number 3. Russian Light Pillars. A light pillar is an atmospheric optical phenomenon in which a vertical beam of light appears to extend above and or below a light source. The effect is created by the reflection of light from tiny ice crystals that are suspended in the atmosphere or that comprise high-altitude clouds for example cirrostratus or cirrus clouds. If the light comes from the sun, the phenomenon is called a sun pillar or solar pillar. Light pillars can also be caused by the moon or terrestrial sources, such as streetlights. Number 2. Reflecting Desert, Salar de Uyuni. The Salar de Uyuni is the world's largest salt flat, and it's considered to be one of the most extreme and remarkable vistas in South America. In the immediate vicinity, you can find an antique train cemetery, a hotel made of salt, and enough lithium to power every device you'll ever own but the flat itself is definitely enough to write home about. Salar de Uyuni is located approximately 3,500 meters above sea level in Bolivia's southwest corner, alongside its border with Chile. Number 1. Forest of Knives. Secluded from the rest of the world, Madagascar is truly a treasure trove. On a visit to this land of wonders, you will witness one of the craziest phenomenon, Forest of Knives. Yes, you heard right. Spreading over 650 square kilometers, this forest has rocky outgrowths in the form of knives and is a major attraction of Madagascar. Singi de Bemaraha owes its beauty to 200 million years of heavy tropical rainfall erosions. Believed groundwater from heavy rains entered porous limestones to create caves and tunnels. That's all for today's video. Let us know which phenomenon surprised you the most in the comment section below. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you enjoyed the video, do like and subscribe as it really helps our channel, and don't forget to give your comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. See you in the next video with some more interesting stories and facts, and until then, stay tuned to Wildest Nature.